Moo Moo, uh, this morning I saw something you're not going to like. What did you see? I'm afraid to tell you. Uh, since last time I told you about such a thing, uh, you got a little hysterical. Rita, don't be silly. There's nothing that you have seen that can make me hysterical. However strange it may be. Go on, tell me. As you wish. Moo Moo. Uh -huh. This morning in the woods, I... I saw a rat! What? Please help me! I told you you'd become hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical. I'm not hysterical! I just felt like standing up. Are you sure you're not afraid to touch the ground? No, of course not. So then, if I made you touch the ground, nothing would happen to you? You wouldn't do that, would you? No, Rita, don't do that. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do it. Help me, please. A rat. See, I shouldn't have said anything, Moo Moo. It was only a rat and it was in the woods. You know we told them that you're afraid of them and to please not come out. It's been years since any rats have come around here. Uh. Come on, there's nothing here. Don't be silly. I have no intention of going anywhere. As you wish. I'm gonna have a snack with the others. Hello, Rita. What were all those screams that we heard? It was Moo Moo who got hysterical when I told her there was a rat in the woods. Oh! But you know very well that Moo Moo's afraid of rats. Why did you even mention it? I thought she wouldn't be afraid of them after so many years. Ow! 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 You know what? We need to do something so that she's no longer afraid of rats. Well, what can we do? We can do the following. We can transform the car into a rat and make it chase Moo Moo until she gets tired. So tired that she can't take it anymore. Then the rat car will slowly approach Moo Moo until Moo Moo just has to accept that she's no longer afraid of rats. That seems a bit cruel to me. Yeah, I know. You'll see how cool this is going to be. Let's see what happens. I'm tired of being on top of this slide for so long. I think I'd better get down now. But what happens if a rat comes? But on the other hand, it's been years since I've seen a rat. I think Rita just told me that to frighten me. I've decided. I'm getting off now.
Listen, Rat. If you plan on biting me, just do it. Just do it, but quit following me because I can't take another step. Wait just a minute. You've been following me this whole time and haven't done a thing to me. Well, what kind of rat are you? I thought you were going to bite me. Hello, Mumu. What are you doing on the ground? You're not going to believe this. There was a rat chasing me and I thought he was going to eat me. But when I stopped running, he didn't even touch me. So you are no longer afraid of rats? Well, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, Moo Moo? I think I'm getting prettier every day. I don't know if it's my cute ears or my lovely neck that makes me the most beautiful giraffe in the valley. Uh, Rita, you're the only giraffe in the valley. That's why you're the most beautiful one. Have you noticed how pretty that lion is? With his amazing mane and green eyes, strong paws and cute bottom? And those sharp teeth. Hello, Mr. Lion. Psst, psst. Hello. He'll definitely say something to me. Hi, Lion. How are you doing today? He's completely ignoring us. But he's so cute that I'm going to go talk to him. You have the most beautiful hair. Mind if I touch it? I already know I'm handsome. My hair is perfect. My eyes are like the sun. I'm the most beautiful animal in the universe. Um, how can you two stand being so, um, strange looking? Cow, you're too spongy. Your eyes are too far apart and your nose is, is, well, I can't even describe it. And you, long creature, where do you think you're going with such a neck and that coloring? I simply don't like it at all. Moo Moo, he was so mean to us. Do you think that my eyes are too far apart and that my nose is hideous? Of course not, Moo Moo. You're a very good-looking cow. You have big, gorgeous eyes and a perfect nose. Why are you asking such a strange question, Moo Moo? A little while ago, Rita and I were walking by the lake when we saw a lion. It was a gorgeous lion. He had the most beautiful mane and eyes like the sun and beautiful fangs, and very white. He must brush them every day. So we went to go talk to him, and the reality was that he had no interest in us at all. But I don't know why. He started telling us we were ugly, and that our eyes were too far apart, and I had a neck that was too long. He was full of himself. This can't stay like this. We need to show that lion that he needs to treat everyone with respect and that it's wrong to say rude things about others. I've got it. Why don't we make him think he's a really ugly lion? That way, he'll learn that he can't go around making others feel bad. And how are we going to make that lion think he's ugly? Why don't we dress Alfred up as a lion and make him look really ugly? Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it! it. I'm sorry, but I don't intend on dressing up as anything. Come on, Alfred. Do it for the team. Well, don't count on me. Alfred, you look awesome. You need to go behind the waterfall. So when the lion sees his reflection, he'll think he's hideous. And the rest of us will hide so the lion won't see us. Let's do a trial run, Alfred. When I look at myself in the water, get closer. Ready? One, two, three. That's great, Alfred. I'm sure this lion's going to have quite a scare. I'm so handsome. I'm so good looking. 
I'm so ugly! I'm handsome! I'm handsome! This can't be happening to me! All of a sudden, I'm ugly? Oh, he must be hallucinating! No! That was great! Did you see the look on that arrogant lion's face? Milo, poor Mr. Lion. He's all upset now. We've got to go tell him the truth. Let's go, Moo Moo. We've got a lion to tame. Hello, Mr. Lion. I know you don't like me because of the ugly things I said to you before. I've always made fun of everyone, but now I'm like everyone else. Actually, Mr. Lion, you're still just as handsome as you've always been. And if you don't believe us, go take another look at your reflection in the water. I don't dare. I can't bear to look at that ugly face again. Go on, you may be handsome, but you're a coward. Look at yourself already. I'm still handsome! Thank you, girls. You've really cheered me up. I'm sorry for everything I said earlier. The truth is, I think you're both very pretty. <laughs> the lion has learned a very valuable lesson, that we all have beautiful qualities. Alfred uses few words, but says a lot. Milo has great ideas. Talalo is clever. Mumu is so nice. And Olga is very pretty. And I'm the best of us all. <laughs> <laughs> the race. Where are you going in such a rush, turtle? Oh, nowhere in particular. It's just that I always move around at this speed. Yeah, of course. What's the matter? Because you're so slow, you can't imagine the rest of us are able to move around so quickly? Excuse me, I go slowly because I'm in no rush, but I could move a whole lot faster if I wanted to. Oh yeah? I sure would like to see that someday. Don't be leaving so quickly because you and I aren't done yet. We need to decide which of us is fastest. That makes no sense at all. It's obvious that I'm the fastest. Nobody has ever seen a snail beat a turtle. Hello, friends. What are you talking about? This conceited turtle thinks that she's faster than me. I don't want to make matters worse, but turtles are usually faster than snails are. That's true, but it so happens that I am a very fast snail. Why don't you just quit the bragging and show us already? All right, look at how fast I move. Wow! It looks like you really are fast. Oh, that's nothing. Watch me. Wow, you're really fast too. Yes, but I can go even faster. You know what I suggest? Why don't you two have a race and it'll decide which one of you is the fastest? That's fine with me. Today will not be your lucky day. You're going to see what it means to lose, my dear Miss Turtle. <laughs> my dear friends, the rules are simple. You must go one lap around the sandbox, and the one who gets back first will be the champion. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready, but I have to do something first. Do what? I have to go to the bathroom. You have to go now? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a problem. Just behind that rock, you'll find one. I'll be right back. What's wrong with that turtle? Why is she leaving now, right before the race? I think she's pulling out of the race. I don't think she's doing that. She probably has to mentally prepare. Maybe she's just scared and doesn't want to compete against the snail. She's clearly afraid. Everybody take your position. Get ready. Get set. Go! Let's 
Let's go, friends. May the best one win. Come on, you can do it. Faster, you can go faster. I guess you're ready to lose. I'm sorry, but you're the one who's going to lose. I seriously doubt it. I thought this race would be more exciting. You must understand that these are two of the slowest animals in the world. Yeah, but I thought there'd be a little more competition, tension, nerves. Yeah, like the day that we created our own Olympics. Yes, I remember. I won by my ear. That's not true, Moo Moo. You won by an ear, which is not the same thing at all. That sure was a really exciting race. How much longer till this race is over? Calculating their speed, which is then divided by the actual distance, multiplied by the wind factor, they have at least another two hours and a half before they finish the race. Oh, great. We're going to waste the entire afternoon watching these hot rods. They're going so slow that we'll be here till tomorrow. I'm very sorry, but I don't have time for such nonsense. I'm leaving. Well, hold on, Rita. I'll go with you. Yes, I'm going to go as well. To, um, to do homework. <sighs> Cheer up, friends. You're almost halfway there. Those two, they can't take it anymore. I'm just going to sit down here because I'm tired of watching them. At this rate, they won't even be done by tomorrow. Boy, we are slow. We still have more than halfway to go, and I'm hungry. I'm not saying that I want to stop, but if you like, we could finish this race later. So then who won? Well, I'd say we both won. That works for me. Now let's both eat something. I'll invite you to my house. Thank you. I'd be delighted. Run! Run! I'm gonna catch you! <laughs> 